Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sharina Wahid with the top news of the day. Police filed a charge sheet against Saifur Rahman and eight others in a gang rape case at the Silet MC College Dormitory. All of them are involved in the politics of Chhatra League. Of the eight accused who were arrested, six were charged with direct rape and two with aiding and abetting. On the evening of September 25, a housewife was snatched from her husband and gang raped at the MC College Dormitory in Silet. Furthermore, Defendant's lawyer have shown to confidence upon the judge in the case of Abrar Faha, the student of Bangladesh University of Engineering, who was beaten to death due to fears of an unfair trial. The Sculpture Implementation Committee said that the sculpture of Bangabundhu would be placed in the designated place. They said this at a press conference at noon. Meanwhile, the Information Minister Hassan Mahmoud sharply criticized the protest of Islamic organizations and called for an end to the debate on the sculpture and political issues. Workers' Party leader Rashid Khan Menon called on the government to clarify its position against anti-sculpture mindset. Preparations have started for the relocation of Rohingyas from Cox's Bazar to Bhashanchar. In the meantime, the resignation, registration of those who want to go voluntary has been completed. According to the latest information, 5,000 Rohingyas have voluntarily registered to go to Bhashanchar. However, the extra exact number of people to be taken in the first step is not confirmed yet. Meanwhile, Bhashanchar is now fully prepared for the Rohingyas. Establishments have been set up there to sustain the lives of them. All kinds of facilities for the Rohingyas have been ensured in Pashantur. 35 people have died from COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, according to a press release issued by the Directorate General of Health Services, DGHS. The total number of deaths has reached 6,748 and the death rate stands at 1.43%. At least 2,316 new infections were recorded from 16,807 samples tested across the country in the last 24 hours. The total number of people infected is 4,71,739. Meanwhile, 6 crore 49 lakh people worldwide are infected with COVID-19 and 15 lakh people passed away due to the disease so far. Pfizer, the world's first officially approved vaccine, promised more adequate doses of the vaccine against corona by 2021. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a large-scale vaccination campaign to begin next week. Tehran warned of an attack on the United Arab Emirates in a retaliation for any U.S. attacks on Iran. Recently, the Rouhani government gave the threat as re relations normalized between UAE and Israel with the U.S. mediation. Meanwhile, a U.S. official claimed that Israel was informed in the recent killing of the Iranian nuclear scientist Mohsen Fakhrizeh. The Iranian people are mourning the death of Fakhrizeh and also swelling with anger. And that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.